Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to make some projects with these weaving needles. These ones are made by Playbox and they call them weaving needles. I call them weaving sticks, so does everybody else. Now, when, when I started my channel, I wanted to show people how to craft a lot more cheaper but still get really good quality out of some of the crafting things they do. And I'm keeping to my promise with this. I got these. These were £1.75. I got these from... I got these off of Amazon from a company called Creative Models Limited. I will put a link in the bottom because I think these are all going to want these. Now, when you open, you get 10 in a packet, by the way. This is what they are. And you get 10 and they're 20 centimetres long. Now, they are flat. They're not round. So, what I'm going to show you is how to use these sticks. And they are amazing. You can make so many different things. Now these sticks, as you can see, are quite long. They are 20, 20 centimetres long. Now what I'm going to show you is, they've got holes in them, like this. If you end up using a rule that's too thick for the hole, you can put thread in and make yourself a loop. So, like this. So I've done these to show you. You can put some wool or some really good strong thread, thread it through the hole and make yourself a loop. Then you can thread your wool, your thick wool, if it's double, say you're going to use super chunky, it won't go through there. But it will go through there, like that, and it will work the same. So that's a little idea if you're using anything that's thicker than what the hole is. So I'm going to show you a way to get the wool through the stick. It's quite quick. I've got a piece of soft wire here. And I've doubled it over. That's all it is. You can use a darning needle if you want. Push your wire through. And then just open it up a little bit. Now get your piece of wool. Or whatever you're using. Push it through. And then just pull your wire through and that's that done. That's that bit done. Simple and quick. Now I'm going to tie just a soft knot. That's just a loose knot on the bottom. Just to keep them all together. Stop them from tangling. I'll show you once more. At the end of your reel. Put it through the wire. Take a little needle and pull it through. And that's that done. So you just pull it through, put just a little gentle knot in, just so you can untie it later. So there we go, we've got our sticks. Now these sticks are just as good quality as a lot of the other ones. Now bearing in mind they were only £1.75, they're not perfect, but they will do the job. So don't worry about them not working because it will. Now they might just be a little bit taller than each other but not much at all. Nothing to worry about. This is definitely 100% going to work. Now what you do is you can do, you can do this with two sticks. You can do it with three sticks. Whatever amount that you can hold in your hand. Later on I will show you a little gadget I made to do more. Now, so there we go. You just hold them in your hand like a fan, like this little fan shape. Get it up like this. I'm going to use five sticks. And I've got my ball of wool. This is just an odd ball of wool that I had. I'm going to tie it around one stick. Then put it on as a slip knot. So 
So I'm going to tie that on, putting it down a little bit. Now, put your sticks in your hand like a fan. Like this. Just get comfortable with it. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to start weaving in and out of these sticks. So you're going to go under this one and over this one, under, over and under, like this. Then you will go over, under, over, under and over. And just pull it down a little bit. Now what you need to do is just tighten it a little shade. Because I found when I first did this, I had big loops at the end. So it was so much easier if I tightened it in a little bit. So now, just grab a hold of them. Just get them comfortable in your hand. Don't be frightened of it. It's only sticks. So now we are going to go around this one this time. Around there. And then up over that one. Down the middle. So behind. Then over and under. You're going to do an over and under. And then just give it a little pull. Push your stitches down. I'm just going to pull them stitches and pull it over here. Now go over, under, over, under and over. Pull it down. Give it a little tough, just tighten it in a little bit. Then over. Oops. Then under that one, over that one, under, over and under. So all you're going to do is weave back and forward. Don't worry if your sticks go a little bit. Some of the sticks are round. Well, if you buy some and they're round, don't worry. It's just going to be the same principle. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep doing that. And pushing your weaving down like that. Just keep pushing it down and then keep knitting or weaving, I should say. I need to get off that knitting. So just keep weaving like that. Give it a little tighten every now and then. Just so you're not going to get, you don't want to have great big loops at the end. So just make sure it's not too slack. And you're going to do that until, keep pushing it down until your sticks are up to about here. Now, as they say, here's one I made earlier. Now, I made this one. So, as you keep weaving, your sticks are going to fill up. Now, what you're going to do is, you're going to keep pushing it down and then... Just grab your stick and pull it gently up. And the next one might be a little bit tight. But just keep pulling, they will come up. There we go. Once you get it past here and start to it starts to thread on to here, it'll be a lot easier to pull them up. Now just pull your sticks up. Until you stick, pull your sticks up until your weaving starts to go down your threads. Don't pull them right out. You don't want to pull them right out. Just might want to help them along a little bit. So you just give your stick a little pull up, just like that. So now your weaving is going to weave its way down those long lengths here, like this. And this is what you get. Now with these you can make so many, you can sew them together and make a rug. You can make belts, you can make handles, you can 
tie them like this, you can make bracelets with them as well, like that. So all you have to do is keep on weaving, just in and out of your sticks, just like this, in and out. Over, under, over, under. Once you get the hang of it, it's really quick. But you just continue to weave as long, weave it as long as you want it, and then just pull your sticks up. Every now and then to continue relieving. Just like that. 